not ready, and that's not just in the budget. We can't just, you know, switch locations like that. That's, that's really important. The budget! It's not in the budget! It's a really important phone call! Alright, we'll make it happen. I, I only have two two hands, alright? Yeah, hold on, I'll talk. I'll, yeah, I'll talk to you later, alright? Bye. Yeah, okay, well, yeah, no, 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 no. The location changed, and it's not in the budget, and we don't have the actors, and the actors aren't ready, and we don't have the call sheet! Where's the call sheet? It better be the call sheet. If it's if it's not the call sheet, oh my gosh, it's week five. We're falling to producers. I have no idea how they handle this. Let's just let's just check it out. You you have another phone call. I'm not here. I'm not here. He's he's busy taking a ten to. He'll, he'll call you back. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Production manager, also known as UPM, they basically foresee everything. So we, I basically do everything so that we don't get shut down on a daily basis. This is my Bible. See, Anna's Bible, do not touch. And that's legitimate. Like, do not touch it. So it has everything that everyone asks me for on a daily basis. Is in this Bible. So, and I call her Bible because it is my Bible. Without it. So, but yeah, without it, I would be lost. Tart and feathers? Yeah. Nothing on the Well, I'm an associate producer, and one of like the goals for a producer is to basically make sure that if there's a problem, it is fixed, and if nobody finds out about that problem, so then that means that you did a good job. Welcome. Welcome. essentially means that we make sure that everybody else can do their job. So, you know, we each have our own little departments that we run, me and the other two associate producers, and we are kind of there for troubleshooting. We make sure that each department is doing like their assigned tasks. So a lot of what I do is make calendars for my departments, assign roles, make sure that certain things are getting done and that they're on time. Yeah, we make it possible for the creative people to do what they need to do and for the most part, try and stay out of their way. I'm Ashley Johnson and I'm an associate producer on the film Unlucky. And what are your responsibilities here? Um, In general, I'm in charge of supervising the casting department, second unit, script supervisors, and production assistants. And I'm also in charge of human resources, which is um, basically in the beginning when we had a whole bunch of new people, I helped find them positions, I added them to our master crew list, and I added them to our email so they would get all of our information, call sheets, and stuff like that. When everything's going on set, you know, we have to jump through hoops to make sure that we're still allowed to shoot this movie, that we're still allowed to shoot movies to come. So it's like we need to make sure that our locations are looking right when people leave. We need to make sure people are behaving, what they put on social media, because all of that um, affects our brand. And we want to make sure that we're able to continue to do what we're doing. Take a shower, ponytail, hurry up here, and I'm right out the door. Friday, right? My name is Ashley. 
name is Tracy Easley Williams. I am the executive producer in charge of production for Unlucky Heroes. I said I really wanted to give students that real life experience and make sure that when they graduate and they were on their first feature set, they knew what was going on. I was lucky because I had a mentor who really looked after me, but that might not be the case for some students. And so you get on that set and you don't know what's going on and what's happening, you're out of there because there's a hundred other people waiting in line for your spot. I am an executive producer who sort of is in charge of the whole production where I organize basically everything. So I've hired everybody, I am evaluating everyone, I, I just make sure that the production happens, that Unlucky becomes a full feature film. So if call is at 8, of course I'm here at least by 6.30 so I can have breakfast ready by 7.15. Like I said, I've gone to the store before all of that. Uh, then I get here, we cook breakfast, and then we clean up after breakfast, and then we start planning the, planning what we're doing for lunch that day. And with in between that somewhere, any issues that have uh, come up, I try to resolve <laughs> before we start fixing lunch. So it could be something as simple as we have to change a shot because we're doing an exterior and it's starting it's starting to rain so that information comes through to the production office and we contact locations props uh, wardrobe makeup uh, casting to make sure that we have cast and all of the things that we need to switch the scene or uh, a location has fallen through and we have to do another location or the issues can be literally anything this is the fourth feature film mm -hmm. that we have produced, Dave and I. It is our largest production. It grows every single film and we're so excited. It's taken us about 10 years to build this up to where it is right now. Uh, it is very important for Dave and I to make sure that students are trained properly and are well-rounded. So it's not just the technical skills, it's the professional skills as well. So learning how to work with people who you may not like, <laughs> but still understanding that the project is, that's the big, that's the big picture, is making sure that the project comes out um, and that the project looks good and looks professional. So we learn, um, students are learning a lot more than just technical skills. They're, they're learning um, uh, those people skills that I think sometimes we don't teach students very often because we're, they're so segregated in the classroom. And again, that's what's great about this because now you're interacting with students from other campuses, you're interacting with students from other disciplines such as business and the fashion and BCD and um, Pan-African Studies, journalism and mass communication, which you may not normally come in contact with during your entire college career. And then the fact that you're interacting with people of different cultural backgrounds, again, and um, sexual orientations and um, gender, different genders and things. It is amazing. It is just, it's an experience that we try to make as realistic as possible to the real world if you were making a film. My favorite part of this whole experience is watching the students come together from so many different backgrounds, so many different disciplines. There is not a program that I know, that I know of on this campus that brings together so many students. I think in a classroom setting, students are so used to being broken up into small groups for projects. That is the coolest part about this experience, is bringing all these students together to work on one project because it, that is really rare. I believe that we are one in three universities in the country that actually produce full feature films. A lot of schools they who do have film programs, they do shorts, but this is a full feature film, which is rare. And for me, it was important to give students this experience because my background is in feature filmmaking. 
we have really good directors we have a great dp we have just a great tech crew period and my production team is always on the ball uh i have some really really dedicated students this summer so i'm um i'm, I'm happy Hello, welcome to my crib. All right, let's, let's get in here. All right, all right. This is where all the, the magic happens. For the film of Unlucky. Yeah, so we're just where we do all our work. We got the wardrobe place. We got the place we make the food. We got the place where we do all the paperwork. We got the place Real where exciting. we keep the food. Yeah. All right, so let's just uh, let's take you on this little tour. Here is where we keep all the good stuff. This is our lovely equipment room. So all the tech, tech department has everything labeled. So anything um, for tech-wise is in this room right here. Um, all the lights are back there. We got Apple boxes. We have headphones. We have seat stands. So anything. this is where they write down all their shots for the day. Then they usually send it in on group me. And then I have nothing to do with that. So yeah, I don't know anything about right. shots. So. Okay, so let's move on, let's to, move on to the next room. Okay. Okay, so we go, we're now on to the next room, which is going to be where the food is actually prepared yeah. by... And served. And served by yours truly, Tracy Williams. This is where the food is normally made. Um, normally Ashley Johnson, Ashley Newton, and Tracy Williams do all the cooking and all the cleaning up in here. Yep, we have our awesome fridge, which has... We show them we our mini fridge. We've got our slow cookers, we've got our mini fridge, we've got this thing right here which usually has some iced tea, this thing has some water or yellow lemonade as it says right here. we got various breads, very important. Carbs are good. we got a vacuum, we got a Swiffer, we got a toaster, like a little wide one too at that. we got some napkins for everybody at the tables, we got the pizza warmer, we got the freezer, we got this thing, I don't know what it does, but it does something because we bought it. All right, we got the cooler. We got we another got cooler. Two fridges. We, we got, got a projector. Here. We have a projector. We're in the place we make we our like food. to watch movies when lunch is being served. Yeah, so we do it like that. Board. And then we got another mini fridge. No, he can't see what's in there. <laughs> <laughs> so the one room that you guys have already been shown is the makeup and wardrobe care room. Which we now have Byron, our casting, we have Brandon. Oh, look who it is! And we also have Haley, our PA, for makeup. Yeah, alright. So they're in here, and this is their room. So we got a big old... So this is where all the production stuff happens, where we make call sheets, yeah. where we do this is where all we of sign our hours. hours. Yeah, this is where we figure out how much hours we have, me and Anna are in first and second place. And this is the, the office. Our this is our office. filming in progress sign, which means filming is in progress. And then we got our hours all on here. So like, got, oh, look at those numbers right there. Oh, that's and then we got the little meeting area for all the people, as you can see by all those various chairs that are not put away correctly. It's better. Yep. Okay, so this is our very special like, grocery. This is like our grocery store, basically. Um, this is where all of our food is kept, um, and it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. And no one's allowed to go in here unauthorized. So, uh, so this is where we keep all of our snacks, all of our food. Um, only certain people are actually allowed in this room because we always have the problem with people stealing food. I never um, do that. So we have all of our snacks and everything, and then we also have stuff that's in our fridge. So we have like yogurt and orange juice, all the healthy snacky foods up in there, and then we have just all of our snacks right here. So it's heavenly. Awesome. Our actual yeah, last room, to be honest, um, we have our editing room. Yep. So our behind the scenes. Um, which is you guys. Yeah, you're in here you a lot. You guys are like usually take up all these computers right here. 
So we have our PA lead, and then we have Dawn, one of our photographers, who are here right now. And then our actual summer editors are going to be right behind you. Like there's like five computers that are editors' tables. Right here is my little area, and these are all the different scenes that we're going to be filming over the course of August till August 1st. So, as you can see, that was our crib. So, uh, now you're kind of invading our space a little bit. So, we got some call sheets and some shooting schedules. So yeah, so you better uh, skedaddle. Skedaddle. Um, uh huh. Yeah. We're just gonna, just gonna kick this out of the way. Bye. Hey, Paul, we need to It's talk. not in the budget. Uh, Paul. The budget's the least of your worries. We actually need to sit down and talk. Okay. Am I meeting me in my office? Sure. Yes. I have a crew member report, and... I actually have a list. Okay. Working under the influence of intoxicating substances. I, th I thought that was allowed. Theft of property and cash. Uh, it was just sitting there, so, you know, I, okay. Endangering of life or property. Carly had, Carly had that coming to her. Disobedience or insubordination. What? Di Violation of safety and security rules. <sighs> they, they seem like they were trustworthy guys and... Yeah. Malicious gossip, rumor spreading. He had that baby. They both had that baby, and he knew about it. Poor, careless, or negligent work. Um, you know, I tried. I tried my best. Hey, it, Paul, you, you drop these. This is not. And you're fired. All right. Um, that was that was week five, and uh, being a producer is. <laughs> it's a lot harder. And this is not the call sheet.